Welcome back artists. Today we are making seed bomb necklaces. Step number one is to color your seed bombs. Now for this activity, I did already make the seed bombs. If that's something you're interested in, you just need some dirt, compost, and seeds. For my coloring, you saw earlier that I grabbed some food dye. That is something that would be safe to plant in the ground because of course when we're finished, we can actually plant these seed bombs necklaces and turn them into beautiful gardens. So I grabbed some food safe coloring dye like you might use to um, make frosting or something for a cake. And I'm just gently tapping the um, bead with the paintbrush. You wanna make sure that you cover the whole thing. Try not to touch it because it will stain your hands. I did this on top of a paper towel to try to keep my desk a little bit cleaner. You wanna do this for all of your beads. I ended up using two colors, green and blue. Um, of course, color choices are up to you. Step number two, you're gonna let it dry. While I let mine dry, I actually have a little note because I'm gonna send this home for my nanny. So I wrote, Dear Nanny, um, on the top of the letter and wrote my name. If you're in the classroom, you will follow that step. If not, you might consider giving this to someone and writing a little note to tell them that you love them. To finish off that note, I am gonna put a hole punch in it so that I can string it on my necklace. Of course, that is completely optional, especially if you are doing this at home. Step number three, string the beads. When you string the beads, you wanna make sure that you are doing this in a pattern. So I have um, two wooden beads. If you're in the classroom, you'll be allowed to grab up to two wooden beads for your pattern. I kind of experimented with my wooden beads to see what I liked the best and decided I liked them on the outside and making that symmetrical pattern. That means it repeats from the front to the back. Um, I am gonna put this through some string, but instead of getting it wet with my mouth, uh, cause that's kind of gross, I used a wet cloth to get the string wet and twist it so that it can go through the beads. Then you're simply going to string the beads. This can be tricky, especially if the holes for your beads are a little bit tiny. Um, try your best. If you're in the classroom, you might wanna have a grown up help you. And even if you're at home, you might consider having a grown up help you if it's difficult for you to string those beads. After I finished stringing the beads, I went ahead and put my little note on my necklace as well. Step number four, you are going to tie a knot. When you tie a knot, you're going to put the two ends together as you see here. Then you're going to loop it around one finger and then take that end and go through that loop. That's the best way to tie two ends of a string together. You wanna to tie it as close to the end as you can. That way if you're, you have a tall person or a grown up wearing a necklace, it will fit onto them. I hope you have enjoyed making our seed bomb necklace today. What will you create? 